So, that happened. This just happened right around earlier this week, so... I really don't know what to make of it. I... I really don't. I don't at all. There's no passion. Not at all. It just doesn't really uh, connect with me and stuff. It, it, I, there's no talent, no effort, no passion. Just... Just pale. Just absolutely pale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess you uh, see where I'm uh, getting at. So, um... So yeah, hey guys, this is Ackley, Tac4427 here with a brand new thoughts video for all of you guys, uh, and I know I know exactly what you're thinking, oh, wait a minute, uh, didn't you tease something uh, right, right at the uh, end of uh, your last thoughts video that you dig? Uh, well, well, yeah, of course, uh, I uh, dig, and, uh, and yeah, if you uh, couldn't tell, I think probably right around at the uh, end of my Avengers Endgame uh, thoughts uh, video that I dig uh, a while back, uh, I did tease that I would, of course, talk about the Detective Pikachu movie. Uh, so, yeah, not to worry about a thing, I am still going to, uh, yeah, I am gonna go see that movie when it uh, does come out, and I promise you I will uh, do a thoughts video on, uh, on that movie when uh, it actually uh, does come out, which, uh, which I think I have started uh, reading and watching some of the uh, reviews on it, and my expectations are uh, pretty high on this one, so, and I guess uh, my uh, thought of uh, the movie might uh, be good is actually coming true for once, but, but I'm getting ahead of myself, but... But yeah, not to worry about a thing, I am going to talk about the Detective Pikachu movie on my next uh, thoughts video that I would do, as I did promise in my, uh, in my end of my Avengers Endgame review, but, uh, but this one I should uh, probably talk about right about now, uh, in its uh, own uh, thoughts video, uh, and, uh, and in case you uh, know I'm a... Uh, in case you couldn't tell by the uh, beginning, I'm going to be uh, talking about the, uh, I'm actually uh, going to be talking about a trailer for a movie that's going to be coming out later this year. <laughs> so yeah, it won't be anything uh, different like I uh, dig uh, my trailer reaction to, uh, to uh, Avengers Endgame and stuff. No, this one I should probably talk about in its own thoughts video. So, so yeah, I'm actually going to be talking about the trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Yeah. Yeah, you know exactly the one I'm talking about. The trailer that... Yeah, the trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie that just dropped earlier this week. I think right around uh, right around at the end of uh, April. Literally on the end of April, that's when the, uh, that's when the trailer dropped. Which uh, is oddly something I wasn't really expecting. And, uh, and yeah. So yeah, I kind of make sense uh, that I would mix things up a little bit differently for once and talk about a trailer for a movie as opposed to the actual uh, movie itself. So yeah, yeah, like I said just earlier this week, uh, the trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie just dropped, and uh, and if you want to know my uh, thoughts uh, on it, and well, I think you can pretty much uh, drive back to uh, what I uh, said in the uh, beginning of this uh, video. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. But yeah, short swing to the point, I did see the uh, trailer for this movie not too long ago, and it looks awful. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just really, really awful. Yeah, I have never seen a trailer this bad in my entire life. Uh, pra uh, practically uh, not since uh, the em the uh, trailer for the Emoji movie for uh, Crying Out Loud. And uh, yeah, and I know I have seen like other uh, trailers that I thought were pretty bad. I couldn't list any at the top of my head, but this one right... I think this one right now is uh, probably the most uh, infamous, uh, probably the most uh, infamous of them all that I uh, that I just seen, and uh, so much so that uh, I actually did say to myself, "Jesus, I thought I gave the." Uh, excuse me for a second. My mind is going uh, blank for a second. I think pretty much my hatred for this uh, trailer is uh, making my mind go blank. But but yeah, I think this trailer is so bad it literally uh, said to me in my mind, "Jesus, I thought I gave the uh, trailer for the live action Dora the Explorer movie a hard beating." Yeah. So, yeah, you kind of see where I'm uh, king at with this. <sighs> Alright. But, yeah, and uh, in case you... Uh, but, yeah, I think it kind of makes sense that we're going to talk about uh, this. Uh, and in case a lot of you uh, know uh, whether or not I'm a huge fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, I think it's very unlikely uh, for the most part. Uh, like, um... Well, I think I actually do know the uh, character and the franchise uh, by heart, uh, and, uh, 
I think I did remember when I was at uh, Retro Game Con uh, back in uh, 2015. I think I did play a little bit of uh, the original uh, Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Genesis, which I have to say, it's not that bad of a game. So, uh, so yeah, I actually uh, am not a big fan of the uh, the games and stuff, but uh, I do know the franchise by heart. I think I've seen like a couple of the uh, Sonic uh, the Hedgehog TV shows uh, during... Uh, during my uh, time and stuff, uh, and uh, not to mention, uh, I actually uh, did meet up with uh, well-known voice actor Mike Pollock, who is, of course, uh, the voice of Dr. Eggman from Sonic. So, so yeah, I may not be a huge fan of uh, Sonic the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, but I do know the franchise and the character by heart, which. Uh, yeah, to which, uh, yeah, and if you've been following on the, uh, internet, you'll, uh, yeah, if you have been following, uh, the internet for, uh, quite a while now, you'll know that Sonic the Hedgehog has, uh, has actually had a, uh, really bizarre, uh, fan base right about now, which, uh, which I will say it's, a uh, reputation right about now is odd, to say the least, which, but I think I will say this, just because I don't, uh, like something, uh, during, uh, my time doesn't mean it's bad or anything, uh, but yeah, but yeah, I guess there are some uh, very uh, good qualities I uh, can't find with Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, but like I said, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, but I do know uh, the franchise by heart. But, uh, but yeah, I guess if anything, uh, I think I uh, really didn't know what to expect when I heard that they were going to be doing a movie based on Sonic. Which uh, which could be really hard to do. Uh, and I was uh, hoping uh, they uh, might give us something that could be entertaining. But based on what I've seen in the trailer... They didn't. In the slightest. At all. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess if uh, anything, I uh, really don't know what was uh, going on in the uh, trailer. Uh, but after uh, witnessing it uh, myself and after, uh, seeing, after seeing the uh, trailer multiple times this week, uh, I think pretty much my hatred for the trailer has grown up even more. Which, which I think I will say is... It, it's really uh, intense. It is really, really intense right about now. Yeah. But yeah, I guess if I anything, uh, I think uh, probably from what I'm seeing in the uh, trailer, I think it's just basically a, uh, basically going to be like a, a buggy cop uh, type movie uh, where of course uh, Sonic will uh, meet up with a uh, cop that's going to be played by James Marston. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know if I uh, got his uh, last name uh, right, but but yeah, I do know the uh, cop is going is uh, going to be played by uh, James Marston uh, to actually uh, stop uh, this uh, evil. Uh, uh, this evil scientist, uh, Dr. Eggman, which, uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, case of the original, or in the, uh, oh, and in the case of the movie is, of course, uh, his original name, Dr. Robotnik, played by, uh, Jim Carrey, uh, this, uh, this time, which is not bad, uh, which is not a bad choice for, uh, for, I will have to say, uh, but, but yeah, I guess you can pretty much, uh, see where exactly, uh, this, uh, movie is, uh, going towards, which, <laughs> yeah. But I think I mean it all seriously, so when does a buggy cop movie have to fit in Sonic the freaking Hedgehog, which... Yeah, seriously, when? Uh, like, yeah, I mean seriously, a buggy cop movie? Uh, but seriously, a buggy cop story? That's what you think of for a Sonic the Hedgehog movie? Are you high? Huh? Who does that? I mean seriously, who does that? thought it would be a good idea to actually incorporate a buggy cop movie into a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Uh, I mean, why even think of that in the uh, slightest? Uh, like, yeah, seriously, are the filmmakers high when they uh, when they actually uh, came up with this? So, so yeah, I guess if uh, anything, uh, I think uh, I really don't think uh, that is uh, that is exactly what we want to see for a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie. We want to see Sonic the Hedgehog be Sonic the Hedgehog. So, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, I gotta calm down now. I gotta calm down now because I seem to be going all I'm into a little bit of an outburst. <sighs> breathe in and breathe out. In, out. <sighs> Okay. All right, I need to calm down now. I seriously need to calm down. So, yeah, yeah. I I seriously never get angry uh, whenever I uh, do these uh, thoughts videos, but I think this might be the first one that I would uh, get angry at something. So, oh my god. Okay, I I'm going. 
I'm I'm getting way off uh, topic here. I might as well uh, continue. So, so yeah, I guess you could imagine there is going to be a whole buddy cop uh, storyline in this uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie, which uh, doesn't necessarily uh, fit in the uh, slightest side, uh, but but I think it is uh, kind of odd to see James Martin uh, in uh, this uh, movie playing a cop. Uh, like, uh, I could seriously imagine that this could probably be like an entire sequel to Hop. Like, uh, like uh, his uh, job as the Easter Bunny didn't work, so he decided to be a cop instead. And uh, he finds this uh, blue hedgehog that can uh, run really fast, and uh, he has to stop uh, a scientist uh, that's trying to uh, kill him uh, with a whole army of robots, which. Yeah, I guess you could really imagine on uh, what exactly uh, this uh, movie is going for, and I think my glasses might have might have gotten dirty, so... So, yeah, I guess you can clearly imagine on uh, where exactly uh, this uh, movie is uh, going towards, uh, and, uh, and yeah, speaking of which, uh, going up... Uh, speak about what I say about the uh, robots part, uh, I think uh, pretty much uh, Jim Carrey as uh, Dr. Robotnik, I have to say... It's actually uh, not that bad of a uh, casting choice uh, for, from uh, what I'm uh, seeing right about now. I think uh, I think I have uh, seen uh, Jim Carrey in like a few uh, really uh, goofy uh, movies that he has done past the present. Like uh, I think uh, one that I uh, did watch a few years ago uh, that I got as a Christmas present is of course uh, in uh, in uh, Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, uh, which. Uh, I have to say, he's actually uh, pretty good in that movie. I think he uh, does carry out the personality of uh, the Grinch uh, in uh, that uh, said movie, which, which is something, uh, which is probably one of the uh, few things that I really uh, do admire about that movie. So, so yeah, I guess if anything, uh, casting him as uh, Dr. Robotnik, I have to say, it's not that bad of a casting choice. Like, uh, I think he's uh, clearly uh, trying his best to actually make this movie work. Uh, so. So yeah, I think it's uh, pretty much uh, from uh, what I'm uh, seeing uh, in this uh, trailer. I think uh, he's actually uh, not that bad in uh, playing Dr. Robotnik. And even in the, the trailer I saw, he's clearly trying his best to make it work, which it does hurt a whole lot because it's uh, really cramming in a lot of lame jokes uh, for crying out loud, which uh, I have to say doesn't really uh, fly by, uh, but, uh, but yeah, you uh, kind of see where I'm uh, getting at. And uh, with stuff like that, uh, but yeah, I guess about anything, I uh, it's a uh, pretty much a uh, one thing I uh, I have to say it is actually not that bad in the trailer. But uh, if there's one thing that I uh, really do hate about this uh, about this uh, trailer, that even uh, from uh, when I'm uh, gonna see this movie, I'm probably gonna hate is of course the CGI, which yeah. Now I bet you're wondering, oh what the CGI? Uh, I'm sure it doesn't look bad uh, like this. Well, um. Uh, well, I think I will say this. Uh, I think the uh, uh, I think uh, pretty much by what I mean by the CGI is uh, not the uh, not the whole thing uh, in general. Uh, some parts of it are uh, fine at best, uh, and some are just okay uh, for the most part. Uh, but pretty much uh, the uh, I think the uh, giant middle finger uh, that you can easily spot is, of course, Sonic the Hedgehog himself. Yeah. Now I think I have seen uh, several. Uh, Several uh, concept art, as well as a few posters, uh, before this uh, trailer even uh, dropped. So I guess you can clearly see on what uh, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, is uh, gonna look like in the movie. And I will say he looks awful, like really, really bad. Yeah. So yeah, I guess if uh, anything, uh, there, uh, I think uh, pretty much uh, the main elephant in the uh, room is, of course, Sonic the Hedgehog himself, which. Uh, which, uh, yeah, I think I will say the CG on uh, Sonic himself, he is awful. Uh, I, I mean, I wouldn't say uh, awful for the most part because that's uh, kind of an under... Uh, uh, I'm kind of uh, underestimating uh, that. No, he looks ugly. I mean, just really, really ugly. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess if uh, anything, if you have seen the trailer for yourself, you'll know exactly uh, what you're uh, going for. I think uh, I think if I can uh, pretty much uh, describe it, I think he... Uh, Pretty much, uh, probably has uh, gotten like a whole uh, thin body, and he's got like these really, really, uh, really enormous, uh, really uh, fat legs uh, for the uh, most part. Uh, uh, but yeah, and not to mention, I think uh, pretty much, uh, I think just the way his eyes look. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, <laughs> I dropped my glasses. So, so yeah, I think uh, you kind of see where I'm uh, getting at for the most part. Uh, yeah. Pretty much a CG on Sonic himself looks really, really bad. Yeah, yeah, I, 
Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, like I said, he looks ugly. I mean, just really, really ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I uh, know this has been uh, guarding up a lot of uh, memes and a lot of uh, people talking about it and uh, stuff, uh, which I will agree for the most part because, yeah, the uh, model they uh, use uh, for uh, Sonic uh, looks really, really awful. And uh, I think I know, uh, I think uh, there's uh, not really uh, much uh, going on for uh, the director of this uh, movie. Like, uh, I think I know uh, he uh, probably did the uh, most of the effects in Where the Wild Things Are, which. Uh, I think here is actually really good. Not great, but pretty good. But um, but I really don't know what was uh, going on uh, when he uh, actually looked over the uh, design for uh, Sonic. Uh, but yeah, I think to the person who actually uh, gave uh, Sonic uh, that design as seen uh, in the uh, posters and the uh, concept art, and even in the trailer itself, I think I really don't know what's going on. But whoever uh, came up with that design for Sonic should be fired immediately. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I will say the CG on Sonic is absolutely uh, terrible from uh, what I'm uh, seeing. And, uh, and I can agree with a lot of people uh, that it doesn't really uh, look right, uh, which, yeah, I have to say uh, it's uh, really, really, uh, really, really horrendous uh, from uh, what I'm seeing. And, uh, but, but I shouldn't worry about it uh, too much because uh, pretty much uh, so right around uh, earlier uh, today, uh, I think the, uh, the film's director actually... Uh, Dig uh, responded to the people complaining about Sonic's design, uh, saying that, uh, saying that uh, he uh, is going to do his best to actually uh, rework it and try to fix it up and actually make Sonic the Hedgehog look like Sonic the Hedgehog, which I have to say is actually a really good move. So, um, so yeah, I think if uh, he can actually make Sonic the Hedgehog look like Sonic the Hedgehog, I think there's, uh, there's a clear, strong chance that this movie could be saved. So... Um, but, yeah, I guess if, uh, anything, uh, but I guess for now, with what we got in the, uh, trailer, yeah, I think the, uh, design for, uh, Sonic right about now is really, really horrendous, which, uh, which, uh, I think, uh, I, uh, wouldn't, uh, say for, uh, I think it wouldn't be too bad if, uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, with, uh, what we're, uh, given right about now to the, uh, director's response, uh, I think it wouldn't be too bad if they could, uh, just make him look like the actual, uh, character, but also utilize him in a clever way, kind of like what Detective Pikachu is going to do, so, yeah, but still, I have seen the trailers for Detective Pikachu, and, uh, and I think the people who made this movie actually did do a good job with the uh, CGI because they actually made the Pokemon look like actual Pokemon. So, so yeah, I guess if uh, anything, uh, I'm really glad Detective Pikachu actually went that route. And, uh, and yeah, I'll be really excited to uh, see him when it actually uh, comes out. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll do my own uh, thoughts on it uh, when, uh, when it actually does come out. So... But yeah, I guess if anything, I am glad the film's director actually did respond to the people complaining about Sonic's design and, uh, and he is doing his best to fix it up. Which, I think I will say is actually a really good move, but there's only one problem with that. He's just only now saying that uh, just a couple days after the trailer just came out. So, so yeah, I guess if anything, with all the uh, posters and the concept art uh, and the uh, promotional uh, material that we got before this uh, trailer even uh, dropped with uh, the uh, design for Sonic that we got, you think that uh, we would actually get a loop? I think he, he would have actually uh, responded. Yeah, he would have actually responded uh, to this a uh, whole lot earlier. So, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much. Uh, my uh, main complaint. I think he should have done this uh, way earlier uh, for the most part, uh, as opposed to right now. So, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I really needed that, uh, because, uh, yeah, I guess you can tell I am getting really angry uh, from this right about now, so. But yeah, I, th I just wish that uh, maybe the director of this movie would have responded to this a whole lot earlier, uh, just so that he can get off his back. So so yeah, chances are, I think uh, we are going to, uh, I think uh, probably just only now responding uh, to uh, this, uh, to all this uh, right about now, uh, which uh, I think I do fear is uh, going to uh, end up in uh, the exact same uh, dilemma that uh, Justice League had where... Uh, where pretty much they had uh, Superman's upper lip be all CG, as opposed to uh, Superman, uh, the, uh, 
as opposed to a Harry Cavill who played uh, Superman uh, in that movie would have just shaved his mustache and stuff. So, so yeah, that's probably my one big fear on uh, on that. But still, I'm glad they responded to it right now, and I'm glad they're uh, fixing it up as we speak. But I think uh, it's going to uh, have the exact same dilemma Justice League had. So. So yeah, and of course, uh, I think I will say uh, the uh, the uh, song that they use uh, for this uh, movie, uh, which is uh, of course uh, Gangst uh, Gangster's Paradise or something. Uh, yeah, I believe it's uh, Gangster's Paradise uh, in the uh, trailer, uh, which uh, I think uh, does sound a big uh, '90s uh, and stuff. And um, I think I will give it credit. Uh, I think uh, I think if uh, this film would uh, came out in like the '90s and stuff, I would. Uh, tolerate it uh, as just one of those uh, bad video game movies uh, alongside the Super Mario Brothers movie, which uh, which is a uh, which isn't really an underest uh, which isn't really uh, that saying that much. Uh, which uh, as of uh, because uh, believe it or not, uh, Screen Rant actually did re uh, uh, did uh, send out an uh, article on uh, saying that it could be the next uh, Super Mario Brothers movie. So so. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much all from why I'm uh, seeing uh, right about now, but, um... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. Man, I seem to be, uh, I seem to be really angry, uh, in this, uh, thoughts video. Like, you never actually see me, uh, really, uh, angry, uh, in, in this, so... <sighs> okay. But, yeah, I guess, uh, with all that said and done, overall... The trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, it's bad, it's horrendous, and it deserves to be buried and forgotten. That's pretty much all I gotta say to that, so, so yeah, and if they would've uh, gone the, uh, that, uh, round, uh, by, uh, keeping, uh, Sonic's, uh, design in the, uh, movie as opposed to, uh, changing it up a bit, uh, which I'm glad they're doing it right now, chances are, this movie's going to bomb. Like, really, really bomb. It's not going to be uh, great. It's not going to be spectacular. It's going to be bad. Really, really bad. And by God, if any of you actually feel the exact same way that I am feeling right about now after seeing this trailer. You are one brave soul. You really are. You actually feel the pain I am feeling right about now. You are feeling the exact same amount of guilt I have right now. But we won't know for sure until the movie comes out, which will be this upcoming November, so... I don't have anything else to say. It's gonna suck. Big time. And unless the people who made this movie start fixing up everything and actually make it look good... Then I think it'll be one movie nobody wanted. To see. But I digress. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, my uh, thoughts on uh, on the uh, trailer for the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have seen it and if you have feel the exact same way that I am feeling right about now. So, and yeah, chances are I seriously regret I felt that way right about now. Like, the amount of frustration that I'm feeling right about now, I had to let it all out. For sure. And I'm sorry that this isn't one side that you want to see for me, but I had to let it all out. I had to, but but yeah, like I said, let me know in the comment section below on uh, if you have seen the uh, trailer for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie and what you uh, think of... Uh, uh, and what you uh, think it's going to be when it actually does come out. Do you think it'll be good or do you think uh, it'll be terrible? Uh, and yeah, feel free to uh, leave them down in the comment section below as well as uh, 
leaving me constructive criticisms and or advice on how I can improve my videos in the near future. And as always, uh, feel free to email me if you uh, want to book me for a con or event or if you have any questions for me in particular. And follow me on my social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if you, uh, if you want to keep up to date with me. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. So, but not in this side of me that I got, that you're seeing right about now. So, so yeah, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm sorry uh, that you had to uh, see me uh, this angry in this uh, thoughts video right about now. But I had to let it all out for you. It was the only way. For sure. And and not to worry about a thing. About what I said uh, that I did tease that I will uh, talk about Detective Pikachu in my next thoughts video. Don't worry about a thing. I promise to you I will get to it. In the next video that I would do. Unless something comes up that would get in the way of Vega. Uh, Daga would just be as bad as uh, the trailer for Sonic the freaking Hedgehog. I pity myself. So, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, uh, stay tuned for my next thoughts video. And I promise you, I will get to Detective Pikachu uh, when I uh, get to it. And, uh, to which I am really excited to uh, see when it actually does come out. So, yeah, don't worry about a thing. I will do a thoughts video on that when it does come out and when I do actually go see it. So... So yeah, I guess for this, I had to lay it all out. So yeah, that's literally about it. So.